Well, news just coming in. The former Air Chief SP Tyagi has now reached the CBI's headquarters for questioning in the Augusta Westland chopper scam. Uh, the CBI has grilled SP Tyagi before and so has the Enforcement Directorate. Bhavtosh Singh is reporting live from outside the CBI headquarters in the capital. Uh, Bhavtosh, give us a sense of what we are expecting today. We do know that SP Tyagi has been questioned before by the CBI uh, at least on four to five occasions. Now, is the CBI, ha does it have any more evidence against him after the Tyagi brothers were questioned because they were the links in fact to the middlemen in the Augusta case? Hello. But in fact, what has prompted CBI to question SP Tyagi is the fact that uh, that uh, Tyagi cousins were called in for questioning on uh, th uh, Thursday, then again on Friday and Saturday, and they had revealed that they had invested in real estate on behalf of SP Tyagi. Uh, you can just see SP Tyagi going inside the CBI, head uh, CBI headquarters, and today he will be grilled at around 11 a.m. in the morning. This is the fourth round of questioning here at CBI after the Milan Court of Appeal gave a verdict uh, convicting two top officials of Finn Mechanical. Uh, SP Tyagi has admitted that he had set up uh, companies with his wife in 2010-2011. Uh, These are front companies or shell companies which don't have any tangible business. And CBI somewhere believes that the money that was uh, rooted from Augusta Westland as part of kickbacks went to IDS Tunisia, from there to IDS Mauritius and then to these front companies. It's a money trail that CBI is trying to prove and that's the reason why they have sought for a letter of rogatory from Mauritius which has not yet come. And that's where the case has been stuck. SP mm. Tyagi's answer, answers are not very convincing and that's the reason why he's being called to, uh, called to uh, CBI time and again.